Hey, this is Spike Powder Dust. Thank you for joining me for episode 7 of my Wolves Rimworld playthrough. Okay, it's time to get things shifted into gear now. So we're going to get Elise, who's recovering from being quite badly beaten up <laughs> by the looks of it, um, to uh, to convert uh, Croyo here. Certainty reduction 16%. That's good, because Croyo has got... Um, yeah, 68. So it is coming down slowly, but it's a very, very long process. Um, thank you to all the people who talked about um, the Luciferium. Um, I had forgotten that Luciferium doesn't regrow lost limbs. 68 to 52. Lovely. Yeah, it doesn't uh, It doesn't regrow lost limbs. Um, so using it on Eura would be a waste of time. But what we do need to do with Eura is get, um, just get a peg leg on, just for now. Um, try and... Uh, Try and get more Lucy because it will fix his asthma basically. We are going to um, take a pop at the Ancient Danger. I think we need to get one more gun to be honest. We don't have a great deal of weaponry and if, if we, there's a centipede in there. It's not going to be that nasty particularly but it will take a while to kill him because once we get him into melee combat centipedes are pretty useless but it, he's going to take a long time to go down and he will do melee damage so it's not ideal if I'm being honest. So we're going to try and get another weapon. What I will do is get a caravan put together and go and sell some of our skins and stuff uh, to one of these uh, ones who are friendly. But I think the newest friendly one's actually here. Minus 12. Wow. That's... Hmm. Yeah, so that is the nearest one. It's a bit of a trek, to be quite honest. One point, it's a 3.2 day round trip. That's a long way. That is a long way. Gonna have to send two people because if one person breaks, that's you know goodbye caravan and goodbye everything. At least if there's two people, uh, you stand a chance. So two people minimum because it's a long way. It's not ideal if I'm being honest, but there we go. Um, Halcyon will be over his uh, psychotic addiction shortly, which it can't come too soon because minus thirty five is a heck of a debuff to try and counteract especially seeing as he not his aunt gray die he actually killed his aunt gray <laughs> we won't talk about that um and this is it is offsetting it slightly but ugh, it's hard work so we're not out of the woods yet we've got a cold snap going on uh which is causing problems for the crops which isn't ideal because we need to get as many crops as we can i think we're going to stop growing we're going to stop growing psychoid for now i can't risk any more people getting uh, addicted to it so I am going to switch that over just to rice, just something nice and actually put down some corn. When the corn harvest does come in, it's pretty good. We've got corn, we've got rice, we've got, uh, we've got, yeah, we've got fast rice growing up here as well. So, all right, there we go. We need to start working on our defenses. We've got um, uh, some stone coming in now because obviously we had, uh, was it Jorik join us? Jorik was the one who's running away, right? Hang on, let's have a quick look. It was Zach, wasn't it? Zach, yeah, there we go. So we don't know. What is following Zach yet? Some kind of threat. That's still, that is still to pass. So we need to see what that is. As it turns out, he's broken straight away. That's not particularly helpful. Just get Elise just to actually haul that up when she when she gets up again. That'll be good. All right, I'll be back. Well, um, Croyo's had a crisis of belief. So he believes that true hyperzen is no longer makes any sense. And now he switched over to reformed kleptism. <laughs> Fortunately, it's not at a hundred percent. So. Our work wasn't reset or anything. What is reformed kleptism anyway? Oh, it's like a raider supremacy thing. Okay. Interesting. Hmm. All right. Well, it doesn't really change anything, but um, I thought I'd mention it. Well, we know what is chasing Zack. It's a man hunting pack of rhinoceroses. This is actually a problem. <sighs> I don't know what we're going to do about this. Five rhinos is not to be taken lightly. Now, I don't know if this is the one where if they fall asleep, they get over the scarier. I'm not sure. I need to go and look that up because I know that with some of the Manhunter events, if they fall asleep, then it they it wears off. But I don't think it does with scary. I think that it won't it won't stop them from being um, uh, Manhunter-y. Let me go and check that. I'll be right back. Yeah, so it appears that it's a permanent condition. It can be treated, apparently. If you down them, you can treat them um, with a med an operation using three regular medicine to cure the scaria. Didn't know that. I quite fancy having a, a pet rhinoceros. <laughs> How easy a rhinoceros to tame instantly? It can't be very easy, or is it wildlife? Uh, rhino. Taming. Taming chance. 20%. Yeah, okay. So not great. If I'm, it's actually easier to tame a grizzly bear than it is a rhino. <laughs> that puts into perspective. Right, okay. 
Um, right, well, this is a massive problem. And it's a massive problem because Halcyon is broken, so he's going to be wandering around outside. So he's going to go down. If he goes down and he's bleeding, he could bleed out. Because we won't be able to get to him. We can lock ourselves in and just wait it out, but it's five days until they die from Scaria. What we can try and do is obviously lure them onto the traps and try and do a little bit of damage before they arrive. But that's not going to take care of most of them. I don't even I don't know what we can do about it other than just hide inside and maybe try and split wait till they split up a little bit. I don't know. This is not brilliant if I'm being honest. Okay, first things we've got to do, we've got to get Jorah to haul that, haul that out the door. Um we're gonna leave the inner door open just for now, because this is gonna be our escape route. We're gonna get um Q Rain Hide Goon to come to here. We got them. This is a massive problem. <laughs> this is just a massive problem. Uh, we're going to get the wolves inside. Let me just do this now. In fact, everybody is going to go um, animal safe. All right, that's all sorted. Um, I've had to make this wall to be deconstructed, so all this is going to become the prison because I need to put a wall up here to make it on the inside. This is exactly the problem I had here, which I've now fixed, but I obviously uh, <laughs> neglected to do this. All right. Gosh, this is a problem. Uh, okay, well, let's just see how this goes. So these guys are coming up fast. We're going to get Q Ray and Hide Goon to maybe damage a couple of them. Um, I'm pretty sure they'll they'll get wrecked up on the uh, on the traps. Jorik, Jorik is not armed. Jorik does not do violence. Okay, we're going to put Jorik on the um, Elise inside, and then just de-restrict him because uh, he's not going to be involved in the fighting here by the looks of it for now. Um, in fact, nor is nor is hyper. Oops. In fact, nor is anybody who's, who's a melee fighter really. I just need to get them inside. So we got um, Zhang coming back in. Animals coming back in. Nobody else is outside. All right, let's uh, all right, let's do this then. These guys are fast, aren't they? Rhinos. Mm. <sighs> this is not great. Halcyon's going to get wrecked. Which has a higher range than the Great Bow it does. Just takes so much time to queue this up. Where are these guys going? Moving, moving. I need to trigger these doors to not hold open as soon as somebody goes through. Fall down, Halcyon. Fall down. Oh, oh looks like he's uh, he's interested. Let's get back inside. Go go go! Come on, guys! Go 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 go! No, don't don't come inside! Don't! Oh, he's coming inside! Oh dear! Okay, well he's um he's in pretty bad shape. Halcyon has gone down, twenty hours. Okay, that's uh that's not ideal. Zhang and Yura, you're up, guys. Cure, you're at the back. Hide goons at the back. Oh, Cure got wow. Oh, he's got muscle parasites. Have we got pa has anybody got pain block? Uh, do oh yes, we have. Hide goon, get up, bud. You're up. Shoot him! Shoot him! Shoot him! Shoot him! He's got to go down. Curay, what are you doing? Come on, come on! Let's put this guy down. Let's put him down fast. Beautiful, beautiful. That's good. Okay, excellent. We got other people with some cuts. LMG nine hours, excellent. Uh, no immediate danger. Um, okay, well we can wait out nine hours. That's uh, then it's we've only got three left, so that's that's good. Shang has got a little bit of a bite. That's fine. Um, okay, so he's doing his thing. This is going to be the. Oh no, of course I didn't need to do that, did I? But what I'll do is I will I'll grab him. I'm going to make this be. Four colonists then we're going to get hyper to take him to bed put him in here and then we've got our uh, our hospital back which is now filthy <laughs> oh well <laughs> we can't have it all we've got anything inside we could use to build with i don't think we have okay that's fine uh sandstone door so we're going to get um, these guys right I'll tell you what let's let's just do this first everyone's going to be inside these guys are going to get 
of that. Yora is going to repair the door. Oh, hang on. Yora's going to repair the door. Let's just make the zone uh, a little bit bigger. Yeah, okay, so Yora's going to repair the sandstone door from the inside. Excellent. All right, what are these guys doing? They're kind of wandering around. So that's fine. Dead rhinoceros rotting in the room. Mm. Not great. Okay. What are you doing? Not best pleased. Yes, traps. Excellent. Good. Good. Go and, grab, go and grab the other trap. Come on. Get the other trap. That way. That way. Beautiful. And now that one. Beautiful. Lovely. 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 Oh, yes. And that one as well. Come on. This one. Oh, you like you're collecting them. That's fantastic. Seven hours. Good. So that's, that'll be two down in, well, nine hours, basically. That will have, leaves us with two who are injured. Okay. We can do this. We can do this. Hopefully some of them will not all die uh, and rot. That would be very useful. Okay. So in the meantime, everyone's kind of doing stuff inside. Okay, door repaired. Good. Everyone's having some much needed time inside. Get some headspace. Fortunately, we have got some food to kind of tide us over. So that's good. Halcyon is 19 hours. Yeah, we're gonna have to force the issue, aren't we? So as soon as as soon as these two die, we're gonna have to go out and grab Halcyon, who's gonna be he's he's gonna pick up infections and God knows what else. He's not gonna be having a great time of it at all. Fortunately, it's only scratches; it's not more serious. All right. Let's get the let's, let's make the place nice anyway. Need to move this body. Um, just for now, I'm going to allow um, the stockpile zone here just to have a rotting animal. So clear all, uh, allow rotten corpses, and we just want animal corpses. So then Yura can then haul the rhino to this spot here. At least get out of the doorway and it gets out of the room because it's not going to be making it look very nice. Oh, Halcyon got up again. No. Oh, fortunately he went down straight away though. But he's a bit closer. He's actually within snatch distance now. Very much within snatch distance. Right, who's our fastest? So we got here speed 3.31, 1.6, 4.6, 4 4.61. So Hyper's looking quite fast. Right, looks like we can grab him with Hyper. We've got to, got to do this. Got to do this quick. All right, Hyper, let's grab him up. Grab him up, grab him in. Okay, let's come to here. We can probably, we can probably do this. We'll probably do this, just not yet, not yet, not yet. They've, they're quite close. Come on, come on, we can do this. It's like he senses him. Go away, go away, rhinos. We can do this. Round the corner, and he's okay. Go, 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 go. Come on, hyper, let's go. Uh, no, I don't need to hold the door open. What I can do is I'll get someone to open the door. At least go and stand in the door. Hyper. Grab. And back in. Beautiful. And let's trigger that to not hold open. At least, thank you very much. You can go. And then hyper. Beautiful. A very slick rescue. Here we go. And boink. Hooray. Done. Now. 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 Medical. Hyper can't do medical. I think Halcyon is actually our best doctor, isn't he? Medical 10. Let's have a quick look. Who else is good at medical? We've got Q-Ray's. Q-Ray or Jorik. Let's get Jorik on it, shall we? Jorik is going to tend to Halcyon. Is all our herbal outside? Oh, it's all outside. Okay. We'll give Halcyon some of the good medicine. Jorik. Okay. All right, here we go. I want to try and get this wall plugged, but I've got nothing to do it with. I'm going to give him good medicine just for one application, and I'm going to switch him over to... Oh. I was looking at Jorik, wasn't I? Okay, never mind. Let's see, let's see what he does. Gosh. Let me just give him one good, one good bit of application here. Just cancel that, and now 
tending. So he'll grab one of these. And then he'll tend him. Right, let me pause that. Switching back to Doctor Care, no medicine. Okay, perfect. Good. Good, good, good. All right. Whew. Now, there's a lot of blood all over the place, isn't there? These guys are going to be dead very soon. Uh, not him. He's going to be dead in five hours, three hours. Okay, so it's these two. These two are the ones that are going to die very shortly. Okay, so these two have fallen down. It's starting to get dark. Um, we're going to we can do the same again. Let's get Hide Goon and oh, Q Ray still down. Mm, muscle parasites. Yeah, it's a bit of a drag. But we, we've got this kind of area here that we can shoot them down. We can get another couple of hits in. As long as they can bleed out, that's the main thing. We're we're not really against the clock. We want to get a couple of bleeders on the go. So let's um let's hold that one open. Cure and hide goon. And we will pop over to here. Right, let's slow this down. I don't need it to be on top speed. Alright, come back in. Need that door to be closed. Go, hide, goon. Go, 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 go. Shut, 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 shut. <gasps> oh, that's close. Now, I think he hit the rhinoceros, didn't he? Yeah, 21 hours. No immediate danger. Okay, fine. They're not inside, are they? No. So he's repairing it as they're bashing it. They're going to give up and go. Okay, good. Alright, well, we've got another bleeder. That's the main thing. Uh, it's this one here. All right, I'll let them do their thing. Um, otherwise, these guys can go to sleep and just wake up the next day, and there'll be just one rhino left. Well, maybe a bit more than just in the morning. Meanwhile, our animals have to eat, so I'm going to increase the animal safe to being a little bit bigger than this. And I'm afraid that actually, well, they don't need much food, the little ones, do they? So, and I'm pretty sure they can eat. Can they eat smoke leaf leaves? I don't know. But we'll um, we'll release the, the the wolves anyway to come and eat some. Eat some meat and kibble, maybe simple meals as well. But we'll be okay, it's fine. And um, I like this bear, he's getting stuck in. <laughs> he's hunting this rhino which has been downed. <laughs> Go on bear. This bear has just earned my my uh, my respect and gratitude. So this bear will not be hunted or harmed in any way. Uh, unless he attacks us of course, but I mean, I'm not gonna actively go after this bear. He's just getting stuck in while the rhino's down. I'm liking that, that's quite impressive. I'll try and tame him. The other rhinos don't seem to mind very much. So it's quite interesting that the bear, um, upon killing the rhino, it turned to Scarrier, so it didn't satisfy his, his appetite, so he's gone after the rat. Now, the rat's not going to feed him very much, so he may attack one of the other rhinos, because he's in the area. But there is a lot of wildlife on the map, it's just he's quite close to them, so maybe... He might go after the donkeys. I don't know. We shall see. But if the bear would see his way clear to attacking these other rhinos, that'd be really good. Right, it's the morning. Everyone's had a good night's sleep. Time to put an end to this nonsense. This guy is not dying fast enough, and this one is not dying. So, let's go and finish the job. Right, Halcyon. Halcyon, Halcyon. So, he is good at shooting and or melee. Now, what's he armed with? I think he dropped it. What's Halcyon armed with? I'm thinking we could give him a bow and arrow. I know he doesn't like using it. Um... Maybe melee again then, to avoid the debuffs. I'm not seeing any melee weapons here. We can very ch quickly check what's on the floor. Oh, there we go. Still club. Oh, wow. Okay. So I'm thinking maybe he actually didn't have... I'm going to give him one of the recurve bows. Maybe I'll give him that. Okay. How's he on? How's he on? How's he on? Quick recurve bow. He's going to get a negative from it. Okay. Right. Everyone's armed now. <clears throat> Let's get them set up. Get them to here. Let's make sure that door is... Uh, not open for now. We're going to get uh, Q Ray to come here. Hide Goon's going to go at the back. House can go at the back. Okay, let's do this. Go on him. Slow this down. Time to finish this now. Beautiful. Alright, Q Ray, get inside. The Jane can actually go to open the door. That should uh, help speed of things. Right. Oh, okay. Damn. Should have done that really, shouldn't I? Uh, hold open, hold open. Mm. 
Okay, Zhang. That's going to be a brave move. Can we go there? Okay, and now come back. No, I didn't do it. Okay, go here. Okay, now come back. Come back, come back, come back, come back. Dude, <laughs> this is so fiddly. All right, the door's open now anyway, so let's uh, let's get Q ready to go there. All right, here he comes. Is he getting, getting dragged in? He is. All right, Q ready come back. Go here. All right, let's finish him. Beautiful. It's one left. Where's the last one? No, oh, he is. He's downed. Oh, outstanding. Oh, cool. Okay. Well, let's mark us be hunted and we'll go out and finish the job. So we're going to finish the job. Uh, Yura. Yura can have the. Ah, okay. Let's uh, let's change all everyone's areas back to. Is it under a sign? Schedule. Uh, restricted. All right. So Yura can. Well, maybe not. Is anybody going to do this? Who's assigned to hunting? Uh, hide goon. Hide goon. Hide goon. Prioritise hunting rhino. Okay, cool. It's a shame that all of them were rotten, but... No, maybe apart from this one, let's just get rid of that as well. Zone. Is he going to be decent? No. Rotten as well. Fine. Okay, so everyone can crack on with stuff. We need to do hunting. We are out of food, so it's desperate that we do some hunting now. Right. Um... Don't want to go overboard, but these are already marked up for being hunting. Uh, hunting? Hunted. Uh, now, I'd rather he actually spends his time hunting, not handling or wardening. And uh, what's Halcyon on with? Short bow and q -rails has the LMG. I think we need to do some hunting post-haste. Let's back off the... Okay. I want q -ray to be researching. All right, look, we'll have, we'll have two people hunting, and uh, that's that's fine. Let's let's do that instead. Okay. Hi, right, Goon, don't worry about taking that thing. I need you to eat some food and go and do some hunting, and we are fine. So that's uh, that's that rhino threat taken care of. We're going to move Croyo back to the terrible prison um, and patch patch up this wall. Well, I've just discovered another kick in the pants Jorik who joined us very recently who was the one chased by the bears he's a hyperzenist and what don't hyperzenists like cutting trees down right that is going to be a major problem can I think it's time to convert all the idiots who don't want to be part of our ideology gang Let's just finish doing this for a second. I just want to check something out here. Can I just arrest? Can I just arrest them? Do they have to be broken in order to arrest them? Where's Jorik? Where's Jorik? All right. Let's see this because this cannot fly. Try to arrest. Ah, okay. Excellent. All right. So here's the thing. We are going to arrest Jorik and convert him over. Because if he's going to get upset every time we cut down a tree, that is just ridiculous. We live on a biome where we're going to get no slaves in the colony. We don't have any slaves in the colony, so why is that a negative? Innocent and Oh, you, they don't... Oh, no. No, 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 no. No. He's going to jail. He doesn't like tree cutting. He doesn't like us hunting. Yeah, that's, that's not going to fly. Okay. Um, who's the best at arresting? At the moment, it's Elise. Excellent. Non-violent Elise. <laughs> She's going to arrest Jorik. Where's Jorik? Jorik is there. That's right. Okay. So what we're going to do, we're going to get Yura to go that. We're not We're not monsters. We're going to um, reinstall a bed in here for Jorik. Um, 29 degrees centigrade. That's a bit uncomfortable. For some reason, it won't let me transfer him back to this cell. If I turn this into a bed for colonists, for instance, and then... Oops. And then I do that. Normally, if you right-click and... Oh, uh, I know what I did wrong. That's medical. Uh, of course it is. Of course it is. I'm an idiot. It wouldn't wouldn't let me transfer him. Now, of course, it will. Uh, so let me just arrest Jorik first. So, uh, 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 uh. It's a shame. Another pair of hands was coming in really useful, but um, it is what it is. 100% chance. Right, Jorik, don't run away. Come to prison. There you go. Well, sorry, mate. We tried. Right, we're going to convert you over to um, our way of thinking. So, prisoner, 
uh, convert because that's ridiculous. And also, he is too smart, which means that his certainty loss factor is halved. So getting him moved over is going to be as hard as Q-Ray. <sighs> now, Q-Ray I've, I've allowed kind of just to do his thing because he's not getting negatives from the various things that we're doing. Well, okay, I'll say that, but... I guess a prisoner's a slave, right? Hmm. It's not terrible, but he hasn't got the whole woodcutting and killing animals thing, whereas Jorik has, and that... That's nuts. Absolutely nuts. So we're going to try and convert him over. I'm going to get Croyo first, though. Um, let's stick another bedroll in here. Install. Boink. It's going to do that sooner than later. Let's get Elise to do that. And then we'll get Elise to... Oh, escorting prisoner. Perfect. She's doing it already. Good. All right, well, you two crazy kids can have fun together and um, we've got to try and convert you both. God, this conversion thing is be the death of me. I'm not a fan of this, I have to say. It makes getting prisoners over to your way of thinking extremely slow and problematic and um, it slows down recruiting prisoners considerably. Oh well, that's what it is, I guess. All right, Hyper, go and bring, go and bring that herbal medicine in. Now, who's it who should be carrying three medicine on them? Is it, is it Hyper? No, it's not Hyper, it's one of the others. Oh, bear. This is the bear who helped us out with the rhino. I don't like the fact he's in our pen. He, Sorry, bear, you got to go. Sorry, bud. Nothing personal and all that, but we can't have the grizzly bear in the animal pen. That's not working for me. So I don't know if I'm doing something wrong, but this is incredibly frustrating. We've broken Croyo's spirit in terms of his conversion. He got down to zero. He decided that his belief in reformed collectors doesn't make any sense, but he switched over to another faith, not ours, but someone else's. And he's back up to 50%. What is it that I'm doing wrong here? It just seems to me that, or the way I understood it, was if you get them down to zero, then you can convert them across to your ideology. Well, that hasn't happened. He got down to zero and switched over to some random ideology. What am I doing wrong? Because this is just incredibly frustrating. How are you supposed to capture prisoners and convert them? I mean, Jorik is going to be difficult anyway, but Croyo is just another story. So if anybody has any ideas of what I can do here, because at the moment all I'm getting is quite frustrated with this particular prisoner. That's twice now he's changed his faith to something else other than ours. So if anybody has any ideas, I mean, clearly I am doing something wrong because the mechanics can't be this RNG based. Surely when you get to zero that you would believe in the good people. Do I need to move him to a, a nice cell just before he hits zero? Is that what I need to do? Because it kind of makes sense, right? But I don't know. Everyone's been saying keep them in terrible cells and then move them into the nice cell when you're trying to recruit them, not convert them. Well, that's what I did. So if anybody has any ideas, that'd be great. That'd be much appreciated. So I'm going to leave it there, I think, because we've sort of come to the end of the episode. So yeah, any pointers gratefully received because I'm finding this part of the game to be incredibly frustrating and I don't think ideology has made this any fun whatsoever. <laughs> I mean, I get, sure, make um, make getting prisoners a little bit harder work. I understand that, but yeah, this is no fun. All right, well, that's it. You take care of yourselves. Uh, be another episode along very shortly, hopefully. Uh, but for now, this is Bug, putting the plug. <laughs>